everyone, it's Sandy Smith here live from CPAC with Citizens Media News. I'm here with the mayor of Magaville. How you doing? Forge out of blow. What's up? What's up? Uh, we're here at CPAC. What has been the highlight so far for you? Um, I did a show for Mickey for Ashley Babbitt, Ashley Babbitt's mother. So that was really cool. I went to the, um, the vigil that they did uh, at the J J6 um, prisoners, you know what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. prison there. At the, the jail, jail there. there. The jail. I had a show last night, and then it's coming through here today, seeing all these people, doing this big interview with you. Woo! I mean, I've been having a great time, you know what I'm saying? Excellent, excellent. How did the visit to the jail go? It was pretty good. I performed out there um, at 9 o'clock. They do the uh, Pledge of Allegiance and National Anthem also, and they have the lights flickering on and off. Everybody being there is really cool. It's kind of crazy. There's people still locked up, and they're doing, you know, going to our building that day. You know, Jan Sickers obviously is on my shirt. I mean, they didn't go to Portland for three months and hag haggle people that burned everything down in the world. You know, the, all the damage they did in Portland. So. Absolutely. We got to pray for our J6 prisoners. Yes. We need to fight to get them released. I actually had the opportunity to meet um, Ashley Bobbitt's mom this afternoon. And um, we need to make sure we stand up and fight for, you know, the wrong, the murder. She was murdered. Let's let let let's 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 speak the truth here, and we've got prisoners in uh, jail right now under from the J6 event that they are holding as political prisoners, and we as MAGA Americans, as Patriot Americans, have to stand up and um, fight for their freedom. So you did a show last night. Tell us about the show. The concert was good. Like I said, it was for Mickey. She had a show. Uh, it was in, uh, remembering Ashley Babbitt. It was awesome. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. I have a song called Ashley Babbitt that uh, Mickey loves. Mm -hmm. So every time I get to sing it for her on stage with me, it's pretty awesome. The feeling of having her mom on there and knowing that my music can help her go through what she was going through and also, you know, help every patriot out here. So if you're not paying attention to what's really going on, make sure you start paying attention. Make sure you look up some of these J6ers events and do more than just sit on Twitter and social media than just type and talk. Get out here. Go to CPAC. Go to these events. You know what I mean? Go to Turning Point. You know, hit the rallies. You know, and if you're a hater, get out there and really see it in first hand so you can realize you're wrong and you're being lied to and you're just not really educated when you think you're educated. So who is the speaker that you're looking forward most to seeing to, um, this weekend at CPAC? I mean, always Trump. You know Absolutely. Saying? Trump's the biggest boss. Uh, I love Trump, love everything about him. He's the only candidate in my brain. I don't want to hear about anybody else. You know, anti-Trumpers, all these people giving money to all these other people. I saw Nikki Haley today. I walked up to her, took a picture. And she, I said, uh, how does it feel to be the, uh, I'll take an L again to Trump. And she looked at me like, you know, I just kept walking away. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, you know, I'm a Florida boy. I love Governor DeSantis, my governor, but I was my president. Um, I don't like some of the people he's getting money from, what he's doing. And also, I elected you to be the governor of Florida where I live, not to run around and play president. Mm -hmm. You know, and, you know, you're doing book signings, they call them, but they're really fundraisers in L.A. and Chicago last weekend. I'm just not with it. Uh, Trump made his whole career. Um, Gillum would have been our uh, governor where we live. Uh, Putnam was running. He was actually the representative favorite for the Republicans that Trump pushed uh, DeSantis across the bill. So I think out of the loyalty. And anybody who's a real patriot understood what we lost in 2020. We had something stolen from us, took it from us. Trump had something stolen, taken. He's been fighting every day to get it back. I don't want to hear about anybody else. Absolutely. I think we can all agree. Trump won. Trump won. That's right. Hey, how can people find you on social media? What's your social media handle? So, uh, guess what? I have a lifetime ban from Facebook. I have a lifetime ban from YouTube. Hold up. I he have has... a lifetime ban from Instagram. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, you're saying you have true social media badges of honor. That means that you were preaching the truth and got banned. Hallelujah. I mean, it's crazy. You know, me being an artist and uh, dealing with this, you know, being banned is tough. Can't put my... They deleted my whole YouTube a lot. 50 million plays. Anybody who really supports me, that's why I tell you, go to my website, Forge Out of Blue USA, and buy merch, buy albums. It helps me continue to do what I'm doing. When I put billboards up. F O R G I A T O B L O W, and then USA. USA. So make sure you get out there, check that out. Hey, this is Sandy Smith coming to you live from CPAC 2023 Citizen Media News. God bless you. God bless. Thank you. Citizen.